Hi guys! So you're here to check out the tutorial for the Doctor Who model that I featured in the Geek and Sundry vlog channel, which is uh, probably one of my favorite models to have painted this year. I think it's really fun. And it's a really simple paint job. I don't do any um, high level highlighting or anything like that. There's nothing fancy on this model. It's just basic colors basic highlights, if that, and uh, it's really just about getting the color palette right to get that really strong feel for the Twelfth Doctor. So uh, if you're ready to go, we'll just watch the intro and uh, get rolling right after this. Okay, so we're going to start off with the primed model. I primed this model in uh, ivory because I like working in ivory on humans. Uh, when you thin your paints out and kind of let them sink into the cracks and crevices, even if your paint doesn't have full coverage, if you have an ivory undercoat uh, where there would be highlights, it's slightly highlighted with that color and um, the ivory is slightly yellow which kind of mimics the yellowness of the sun on uh, a person and you get really natural looking highlights that way. It also gives you an idea of where the highlights should go if you're just learning to figure out how to highlight and where to place the highlights. Thinning your paints down and then putting on thin base coats and then seeing where the, the shadows kind of sink in and where the highlights are will give you a better understanding of how light would kind of reflect off this model. So uh, that's where the ivory highlight comes in. Uh, looking at the reference photo for the blues, I'm going to be painting the shirt and the vest in a blue. I'm going to use the same blue actually, uh, just mixed with different colors. So Oxford blue from Vallejo is going to be the color I'm going to use as kind of the base blue. I'm mixing it uh, with a lot, a lot of white um, for the shirt. And then I'm going to actually mix it with a gray tone. This is Fortress Gray from Citadel Paints um, to paint the uh, vest. And you get some very different hues um, to kind of create that that cohesive look. So the blues are the same tone, but they're of different values. And again, you get a really natural, cohesive look by doing this sort of thing. Uh, looking at this reference photo, you can see that camel uh, jacket, the red tie, uh, and the brown pants, which I tend to think of as very Dr. Eagles, particularly that, that camel jacket. Um, so we're going to paint that jacket and pants. So we'll start with the pants uh, with some scorched brown. Again, you can find very easy equivalents to these discontinued Citadel colors. I'm going to put a, a link in the description below for all the paints, as well as like a color chart that you can use to find comparables uh, through across, like various lines. Um, but the brown paint uh, for the paint uh, for the pants again. This is the perfect opportunity to see where the highlights would be on the pants. And similarly, painting the ochre uh, with Vallejo Paints ochre uh, tone, which is a color I actually love. Um, it works very well in many kind of more natural applications. Um, so throwing that on the jacket and just letting that the color kind of uh, sink into the recesses is kind of perfect for this, this look. And uh, we're going to then paint on the skin tone. Uh, this is Tularen Flesh. Uh, it's very pink. So I like base coating skin in a very pink color so that when you actually put lighter uh, tones on top, even if they are just that same color washed out with some white, um, the pink kind of comes through and makes the skin look far more natural. Just underneath the skin are all these blood vessels, right? So we all have a slightly pink tone to it, and that's where that depth comes in. And after that, we're uh, going to paint the fez. Uh, oh, by the way, I painted the hair the same color as the pants. Again, using colors across, uh, like that are the same across the model will help keep the model looking cohesive, uh, even if they are slightly different tones. And then painting on the fez, uh, just a flat Vallejo red on top of that. I also noticed this model has a bow tie um, that I wanted to paint on, but the actual sculpt has a regular tie. Uh, I just, I painted on the bow tie on top. The idea with miniatures is to give the impression of something that is there when it may or may not be. Um, and when you're playing a miniature that is like from three feet away, you're probably not going to look at the bow tie from like two inches away with this really tight zoom like you're seeing it right now. Um, giving the impression of a bow tie, uh, and it looks very much like a bow tie from tabletop, 
That's all you need to do. So a little bit of red on that blue makes it pop. It doesn't have to be a line down the middle of his chest. It just has to be something that's a little wider, that looks a little bit like a bow tie, and all of a sudden you have a bow tie on a model. Now it's time for highlights and final details, which are really easy to do on this model. Again, it's really about giving the impression. So I'm gonna highlight the face. Um, so where the higher points are, the top of the forehead, the, uh, uh, the middle down the nose, the chin, uh, the jaw bones and the cheekbones are all I'm really going to touch on it. I actually did a one hour um, painting session with Oasis Rising who is an award winning painter um, which you can check out for more details on painting faces specifically but this is just again a very uh, tabletop level very simple kind of paint scheme for just getting a human model on the table so this is where I'm going with that flesh just very basic highlights and then going through and highlighting the jacket which uh, I again just mixed a little bit of uh, white with the ochre color and then just picked out certain parts of the jacket that I thought would kind of pick up more light um, the lapels the edges on full creases and folds in the jackets shoulders you know seam edges that sort of thing that that little bit of highlighting goes a long way um, to kind of just add a little more depth to the model. And finally, I'm going to take a little bit of silver, paint his glasses, and paint the buttons on his vest. And there you have it, a painted model. This is a really simple paint scheme for a really simple model. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. While you are down there, don't forget to hit the like button to like this video, and also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, happy holidays, and I will see you in the new year. Bye.